Hi there. Now in this tutorial what I want to do is show you how we go about finding the area of a segment as I've shaded here. And to do this what I've got is a circle radius 5.3 centimeters and the angle subtended at the center here from the chord AC is 70 degrees. So to find the area of a segment I'm going to work out the area of the sector OABC and then from that subtract the area of the triangle OAC. So let's start then with the area of the sector. So we'll just put a little intro here, area of sector and that sector is OABC. And that area will be a fraction of the complete area of the circle. Now that fraction is 70 degrees there compared with a full turn of 360 degrees. 73 sixtieths of the area of the complete circle which is pi r squared and the radius for this circle then is 5.3 so we've got pi times 5.3 squared. And if you work this out on the calculator you'll find you get 17.159 and so on centimeter squares. Now we've got to work out the area of the triangle OAC and to do this it's very easy let's just put a little intro here area of triangle OAC what we've got is two sides and an included angle and you should be familiar with this formula for when you've got two sides and an included angle it's area equals a half AB sine C so using that formula then we're going to have the area of triangle OAC is going to be equal to a half. Our two sides surrounding the angle are 5.3 so you've got 5.3 times 5.3 or 5.3 all squared and then that's multiplied by the sine of the included angle which in this example is 70 degrees. So if we work this out you'll find you get 13.197 and so on and that be centimeter squares. Therefore if we want to find the area then of the minor segment okay ABC let's just put the area of segment though okay ABC then it's going to be equal to the area of the sector which was 17.159 and so on subtract the area of the triangle which was 13.1 one nine seven and so on. Do that subtraction and what you get is 3.961 and so on and if we round this to one decimal place then that's going to be 3.9 centimeter squares to one decimal place, one dp for short. Now if you're asked to find the area of the major segment then what you could do is since you've got the area of the minor segment okay the major segment would be all the way around here okay and then across to A be this section through here I could just simply work out the area of the circle pi r squared and then subtract the area of the minor segment or alternatively I could work out the angle around here which would be 360 minus 70 degrees Give me 290 and then work out the area of the major sector that would be this shape around here and then from C back to O and then to A the area of the major sector and then to that I could add the area of the triangle and so that would give me the area of the major segment. Okay well I hope it's given you an idea anyway on how we can go about working out then areas of segments.